as the weather was pretty crap outside, um, I thought I'd do another quick review of a new product I've got. Recently bought myself a new uh, mirrorless camera. Um, I wasn't gonna, I was going to go for a DSLR, but I wanted to have a bit smaller, so I thought Sony Alpha 5000 mirrorless camera would probably do me best. Um, has great some some great features: 20 megapixels, interchangeable lenses. Not that I've got any at the moment. Um, built in flash and the screen that flips around uh, records at 1080p 30 frames a second has great battery life I'm very impressed so what is that every youtuber needs Grillapod but I'm not happy about going out and spending 50 or 60 quid on one for the camera I probably will eventually but I thought I'm just going to try a cheaper version out so I decided to buy myself a Rolly monkey pod such a rubbish name. <laughs> it's really, really rubbish name. Um, this is an unboxing, but I have already been using it because, to be honest, I wasn't sure if it was going to be any good. Um, so this is what you get in the package. It's quite nicely packaged. Uh, I think it cost me £12.99 off of eBay. came pretty quick. Alright, let's take it out of the box. Alright, so this is what you get in the, in the box. So you get your monkey pod. Some instructions or a leaflet, not in English, and then you get a warranty certificate, which is quite handy to have. Grant a warranty of two years based on the date of purchase. If you send it back to be repaired, you must enclose the receipt. But I've got it on eBay, so that's going to be quite easy to uh, get. So that's quite a handy thing to keep. So loads of addresses on there as well for where to send it back and then you just standard packaging don't need that. okay so here is the product let's turn it that way so you can see it okay so it's got soft legs soft feel legs got like a foam over the top of it I would presume like a metal frame um, they're quite stiff to open which is quite good holds it in place quite sturdy very grippy feet, that's me moving the table and not the actual thing. Um, I've been using it for, I would say, a couple of weeks now. It is great, it does feel really good. It's not heavy. Um, let's put it on the camera and I can show you. So it comes with this detachable clip that fits in there. It has a button either side, so just push them and it releases. So, yeah. Just push, release. Right, let's just put it on the camera first. So this is one of my gripes with this product. Alright, so put that on the camera, make sure it's nice and tight. And then just pop it in and it's on. Which is great, but there's a little bit of play in it. So you might be able to hear it, listen. And that, sometimes, when you're vlogging with the camera, um, you can just hear a little... But to be honest, I think that would be easily fixed if we put some like electrical tape or a little bit of foam around the edges. Um, my next worry with it is... This is not a cheap camera but it's held in by as you see the two little push buttons so again it's in there it's secure it ain't going anywhere but it's just it's a lot of faith to have in something that's not that expensive I know it's my own fault for going cheap to be honest but we'll see how we go with it but it clips in perfectly every time. Once it's in there, it's not coming out. Uh, another gripe I've got with it is this little bit of plastic. As you can hear. So what, you do, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually, I don't see the need for it to flap, to be honest. I know it keeps it out of the way, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue it in like that. That clamp 
is the strength of the ball joint at the top, so you get quite a bit of movement on it. Um, like it's not like the Gorilla Pod where you can go full 90 degrees, but I'm not really fussed with that. It just gives you the nice bit of angle to kind of just get uh, enough on it to make it a selfie stick. And once it's done up, it's very secure, it ain't going anywhere. So as you can see, the camera's on there. But you can just hear the rattle. Um, the base plate, again, once it's on there, it's quite low profile. But again, it's a little bit. I think it's, it could be doing with a little, being a little bit squarer, because once I put my camera down, see, it doesn't no longer sit where I think I'd like one. Where if it sat down, it stayed there. I don't mind there being a gap here, but I'd like it to be able to stand because I now struggle if I'm if I take it off my Gorilla Pod and I have to put it down. But to be honest, these aren't massive gripes. For a product that only cost me £12, where I could go out and spend some proper money and get a Gorilla Pod for 50 or 60 quid for the weight of this camera. Um, the legs actually feel really nice, so they bend quite nicely. So I'm actually waiting for the weathering to improve a bit and I'm going to take this out and do some astrophotography and stuff. So again, look, it works really well. Once it's all secured and stuck in place, it's perfect. But again, for 12 quid, you can't really mind, can you? I say the legs do feel great actually. There's, there's, I have a lot of faith in how secure they are. I like the soft feelness of them. It's pretty sturdy. And like I say, that grip on the feet is brilliant. That's me moving my whole table with everything on it. And again, when I swap the camera off, push a button, and it's off. So yeah, it does work really well. It's quick and cheap off of eBay. It does exactly what I want it to at the moment. Like I said, I'm just starting out with this kind of camera. So it's not a massively heavy camera. It's just, I'll put the weight up on the screen here. Um, but yeah, it does a job. It serves a purpose. I think eventually I will upgrade, but for the time being, I do recommend it because it's only 12 quid and it's it's just if you're just starting out it's definitely worth a try. There we go.